Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel Sales Person. This is Ovid and today I'm going to discuss about new feature that is related to the Winter 25 and that is conditional fill formatting and this is a new feature uh, recently released by the Salesbox. I will show you the step by step you know guide how to set up this conditional fill formatting and all the things. So please stay tuned in this video and don't skip any part of this video. And uh, please like, share, comment, subscribe the channel, also turn on the bell icon for more updates so you never will miss any kind of update from my side. So let's get started without any further delay. So first of all, you have to do one thing. Under the quick file, you have to search this one. So you have to click on the Salesforce mobile app. And under here, you can see dynamic form and dynamic highlight palette for the mobile. So you have to enable this, you know, feature. So this feature, you have to enable it if you want to leverage this feature. So this is the first prerequisite. After that, you have to do one thing. Just you have to check your conditional formatting is enabled or not in particular objects, right? So in the Lightning App Builder page. So let me open the account. So under the account, I want to check this new feature regarding this conditional for field formatting. Okay. So now let me open the any record of the account. So right now you can see this is the account, right? So I already configured it, but let me tell you how we can leverage this feature, right? So just here, so this is the account record page. So you have to enable that, uh, you know, conditional for field formatting. So here you can see the account record page. So let me edit this page. So just click on this edit page here. And once you clicked on this edit page here, just click on the fields because this feature is only applicable or only available for the dynamic form and dynamic fields right so once you click on the fill section you can see dynamic highlight panel right so you just you have to drag and drop anywhere as you want let's say this one right after that once you drag it now you can add your field here right so in this area you have to search like a rating right so based on the rating i want to check my you know conditionally uh, field formatting design so here you can see this one. Once you drag and drop the fields inside the dynamic height panel, immediately you can see a new option that is conditional formatting, right? So now you have to you do one thing here. You have to create your rule set. Okay. So how we can create the rule set? So just let me create the new rule set. It's a very easy and very simple way. Right, so you have to follow it, these all things. So let's say uh, account rating, account rating, and by default, all the feature is disabled. Just click on the next. Under here, icon, if you want to add any icon based on your, your need, so you can select from here as well. For now, I'm taking this one that is, uh, you know, R. So let me check this one. Any, yeah. So here, this one, and uh, let me change the color, like red. So here you can see this one. Conditional is like account rating. So you have to add your condition before, you know, activate this rule set. So under here, like rating equal to hot. So once we have this rating equal to hot, we can show this emoji that is red hurt. Right. So just click on the next. This is the one rule set. You can add another one using this pencil icon. And again, you have to select that email. You can change any image as you want. For now, I'm taking this one here. Right. And this time, like a, a rating. Okay. Rating equal warm. Right. Click on the next. The, these two rule set is here. Let me add another one because I need to check another condition as well. So this is the art here. You can change the color like uh, red we already done. Like it's time to green. And condition is like rating, right? Account rating equal like cold, right? Click on the next. And now you can observe here. Please focus on this one. We have three rule set here. Now you can see three rule set is already there here, right? So like I can red hard if rating equal to hot. If rating equal to warm, if rating equal to cold. So these three rule set is here. So you have to save your rule set. So let me save this one. Now you can see account rating rule set is done. Now you have to click on the save button. So this is the first 
you know, uh, example regarding this uh, conditional field formatting. Once you saved it, just go back here. And once you go back here, now you have to check these all things here. Right. So now, right now, you can see the account rating is called. That's why you can see the it's a green. You know her. Let me change the uh, rating as a hot. Click on the save. So now immediately you can see rating, you know, rating as hot and you can see the red one. Right? Uh, let me do one thing. Again, we have to change like as a warm because we have three rule set conditions. Let me click on the save. So now you can see the warm as well. So this is the dynamic highlight panel. You can see these all, you know, features. Let me add that dynamic highlight panel feature that is conditional field formatting inside this detailed page. So how we can add that in this rating file. So again, you have to click on this gear icon, edit page. And once we clicked on this edit page, now you have to upgrade this page into the, you know, dynamic field. So just click on this detail. And here, yeah, so now you can see upgrade now. If you didn't see anywhere like a particular fields, again, you have to click on this upgrade and you can migrate, uh, you know, your record page into the dynamic form. So let me click on the finish. So it's time you can see each and every individual field is highlighted. Now you can see how mouse over, you can see this one, right? Now, let me remove this field. Okay or just let me select this field. Once you select this field, now you can see the conditional format, right? So just, we already created account rating. You have to select it and click on the save. Okay, so once you saved it, now you have to check this feature in both dynamic highlight panel as well as field. So once you saved it, just go back from here. And now, once you go back here, now we have to check it's working or not as we expected. So just click on the detail. Now you can see warm rating with this icon and warm rating. Let me change this rating as well, like a hot and click on the save. Now you mean immediately you can see like hot and Im emoji also be automatic reflected. Let me change the rating as cold. So let's see, just save this cold. Immediately you can see the cold rating as a green, right? You can see this icon. So this is how you can implement this conditional field formatting in Winter 25. That is very most important feature to improve your user experience in Salesforce. Okay, so guys, I hope you learned something new in this video. If you feel like this is a very more informative for us, please like, share, comment, subscribe the channel. Also turn on the bell icon for more updates. So you never be miss any kind of update from my side. So till then, bye-bye, take care, see ya. Thank you for watching, guys.